This is Renee and Macho at the TLC Clinic in Hudson. This is the morning run. I'm going to let it go through regular and then do a slow play review. I'm really glad you came to the clinic, Renee. And uh, Macho definitely tested you on uh, not going up into the uh, turns like he was supposed to. But you, you were really trying and being very aggressive with him. Um, you made a huge improvement in the afternoon just by changing some of the drills we did during the day, where you looked and where you rode to. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and do this slow play for you, and you will see when I do the PM review how many great improvements you made. So I was really proud of you, little girl. You did good. Um, Macho definitely has a case of kiditis. So what I would suggest during the week with him is to get yourself some cones, um, first of all, get yourself some cones that you can um, start practicing making him do big circles where you look and ride to. And the cones will be a reminder to you to have him go on the outside of the cones. And maybe even just set up one barrel and make him work on the outside of the cones at a trot and a lope. And remember what I said about asking him two times and then taking when you ask him to go faster at a trot or a lope or a run, reins forward towards the ears up his mane, cluck or smooch at him. If he doesn't listen to that, then kick him with your feet. If he doesn't listen to that, then spank him once with your crop. And that way you give him two chances to do the right thing and then take it on the third one. But remember, do not look at your barrels or poles. You have to look at wide pockets um, to the side and past the barrel with him. Okay, so first he comes in here on the wrong lead, but you're really kicking and driving, and you keep kicking, but he still just shuts down. Your hand is back a little bit, so what I want you to do is keep those hands forward, and I'm going to stop it here and show you. Your hand position here is good, your body position is good, and you're driving with your feet. You're going to need to keep that going all the way till he gets past the barrel because he just stops on you and you have no way to keep him going. He sees the barrel and he just shuts down. So um, we'll keep things going here. And the same thing when he cuts your pocket off, he goes out wide and that's not necessarily a good thing either. At least when he goes wider, he does keep his forward motion. So one other drill I'd like you to do during the week with him is the sprinting with no barrels involved, just sprint the length of the arena and just try to make running a little bit more fun for him. You know, once or twice a week in the arena, just let him sprint the length of the arena. So, good job and um, you're going to like the review in the afternoon, how much better you rode him. Um, but again, uh, set up some cones far off of the barrels and make him stay at a trot or a canner on the outside of the cones. That'll be good practice for both of you. Thank you.